Hey guys, Tony with Fiction here, and today I want to show you my Mega Blocks. So, Testbling also made some Mega Blocks, but his ones don't work like the smaller ones. My ones does that so far. I managed to make the lamp, redstone torch, so the normal one and the one on the on the wall, and furnace with hoppers. All right, so. Let's test if this giant XOR worked like it should. If you flick this one right here, torch turns off and lamp turns on. If we flick this one, torch turns off and lamp turns off as well after some mega legs. Come on, there we go. If we now turn this one back on, Lamp, uh, redstone torch turns on and lamp turns on. So yeah, giant XOR gate working perfectly fine. Let's have a look inside of this torch right here. So just con uh, wire running up here into the, into the head of the torch and depower those torches right there. So yeah, the orange ones are the outputs. And because we are in mega blocks, we can't send signals over an air gap. So we need these special redstone flying in the air to get the connection. And to the top, we have the torch reach to the top. Uh, normal t torches don't do that. I can show you that real quick, what I mean. If a normal torch, place a block, block on top, you have an air gap. But, like I said, can't send signals in survival through air gaps. Alright, so let's get in the redstone lamp. Can we get in here? No. There? Yes, we can. Alright. Redstone lamps just work like the normal ones. You can power them from all sides and they will turn on uh, or off. Inside here just repeaters and redstone to cause massive flags and to turn it on and off. Let's fly, fly out there. So redstone lamp, redstone torch, normal one placing placed on a block, placed on a wall. And let's get over here to our furnace. So if we place an ore in there, nothing happens, but if we place something in there, the small ones fires up and the big one does that as well. And if we wait some seconds, we should also see that it's turning back off. There we go. So our ingot in here gets transported down there. Well, yeah, one of those is our ingot. So, yeah, hoppers work and the furnace work. And now to test that, is there anything in there? No, perfect. So let's throw in a stack of iron ore there. And half a stack of that in there. They will get split up in all of those six furnaces, hopefully, and they should lit up any second. Well, the burning material needs a bit longer, cause it has to go over an item elevator. Come on. Ah, there we go. All right, so let's have a look inside. That we can see what's going on in here. So, like I said, item elevator for the connection from the sides. The one from the top can directly go into the splitter system to get split up in our furnace array. The furnace on the left and the right have a butt switch on the side, which triggers down here our dispenders with a flint and steel inside. And if uh, the 
signal turns off. Those hoppers, ah, hoppers, yeah, those pistons down here push the blocks over so the light, so the fire gets off. Um, yeah, so those hoppers get the item, bring it down here to the connection with the hopper below. If we don't want that those ones pull the items out, we have on the outside, come on, let me out here. We have on the outside buttons to stop that. So if you flick this, uh, press this button here, the items don't get transported down. Come on. So they stay in here. And if we press this button, they get transported downwards into the hopper. And now our system finish only a second. There we go. Light turns off. And all our materials are down here. Well, some of them there and some of them there. So, working giant furnace with its normal purposes and features with hoppers, without hoppers and whatnot and redstone lamp with redstone torches. And like you can see in the background there, I'm working on dispensers, droppers, solid blocks, comparators, repeaters and all the other stuff. But so far for now, if you liked, sound up and have a nice day. Bye!